making for you today is a fire roasted tomato soup with all the abundance of tomatoes. It's going to be delicious. I have my saucepan heating up. I'm going to put in uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. And what I have here is a medium sized on onion chopped. Doesn't have to be chopped fine because everything is going to go into the food processor and get blended at the very end. So we have onions going in and of course we'll have garlic going in. We'll saute them until they're translucent and then we'll add the rest of our soup ingredients. In they go. And I have three cloves of garlic. They're going in as well. And I'm going to saute them until they're just translucent. Let that sit. When they're ready, all the rest of the ingredients and the onions and the garlic are going to go in this stock pot and then it will go on the stove top and cook for 30 minutes on a low simmer. So what I'm going to do is add the ingredients while we're waiting on this. And what I have is an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. You can use whatever tomato sauce you like. And a six ounce can of tomato paste, which is one full of these little cans. Um, you, you can also get tomato paste in a tube, and that sometimes works out better if you just need a small amount. But I need this whole can, so that's the way to go. All right, there's that. And then I have a can of whole plum tomatoes. They're whole, they're just peeled, and they're whole, and that's going in. And then the fire-roasted tomato part of the recipe. You could roast tomatoes in your oven on a sheet pan um, with olive oil, salt and pepper at a very high heat until they break down and get a little caramelized. You could do it that way. I'm taking a shortcut today and I'm adding two cans of fire roasted diced tomatoes. So they're already fire roasted. You can see some of the char on it. The black is what gives you that roasted flavor. So two cans go in. So I'm taking a shortcut. But if you want to roast your own, by all means do, especially when you're getting them out of your own garden, they'll be delicious. Second can goes in. Give this a mix. Wipe my hands. All right, those vegetables look like they're almost ready. And then I'm going to add one container. I'm using vegetable broth today, but you could use chicken broth. I'm using vegetable broth because my daughter is meat free and I want her to be able to enjoy this soup. And the vegetable stock has great flavor. These guys are almost ready. And this, as I said, will simmer 30 minutes on the stove top. And then at the very end of the cooking, we're going to add heavy cream, which will make our soup nice and creamy, and salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna give that one more minute while I grab a hot holder. Those are ready. They're going right in. So this is a big pot of soup already, but it's gonna cook down a lot. Give that a mix. Um, after it simmers for 30 minutes, we are going to puree it in a big blender so it will be a smooth, creamy soup. Off to the stove. The roasted tomato soup has been simmering for about 30 minutes. It's reduced and now this is the final step is to blend it all up because it's going to be creamy and delicious. I mean, I would eat it like this truly except you do have those big whole tomatoes in there. 
So please be careful when you're ladling it in because it's hot. I'll make a huge mess, but no. it's okay. It smells really good. Yeah, I would eat it just like this. You could do that. Totally do that. All right, I'm going to... Uh, wow. You'll be neater in your own kitchen, I'm sure. Okay. I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to add the final ingredients. Okay. I'll call that good for right now. And I'm going to, once you puree the whole batch of the soup, it's going to be um, two cups of heavy cream, but I'm only going to use a portion right now since I have to puree the rest of this. And then some Parmesan cheese. You can eyeball it more or less, whatever you like. Snap on our lid. Be extra careful. I'm gonna put a towel over it to be super extra careful because you don't want the lid to blow off and have all this hit you. So, power on and mm, try pulse. <laughs> Neat. Well, you know what? Since it's working out and cooperating, I'm going to add a little bit more of the soup because I have room. I wasn't sure how much room I have. So I have about four more of those big tomatoes in there. Oh, it's so rich. It smells great. All right, this will be the last one. All right, cover back on. Safety. All right, that looks well blended to me. And I'm just going to pour it right into my soup bowl. Look at that color, huh? And I'm telling you, grilled cheese, if you have this tomato soup with a really nice grilled cheese on artisan bread, you'd have it made. And I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit of basil because that's what's in it. And basil goes so nicely with tomatoes. So there you go. Fire roasted tomato soup. This is fun dried tomatoes. So they're not exactly sun dried, but they're fun and easy to make. And especially if you have tomatoes in your garden at home, this is a no brainer. I don't have my tomatoes in yet, but I'm using these little these little tomatoes, you can use any tomato that strikes your fancy. I'm just cutting them in half. This is simple. And I'm going to put them on my, I have a sheet pan with a grated top. And I'm just gonna put these little guys on here. Simple, very simple. And this is fun. And you can keep these tomatoes um, in a zippy bag or you could put them in a container with um, olive oil. So there they are and I'm going to just drizzle a little olive oil on the top of them all and a little salt and a little pepper. They're going to go into a really low slow oven about 300 degrees and you're just going to leave them in there. You'll know when they're done. I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. They'll get dark and this is what they look like all done. And that is a dried tomato. And they're yummy. Like I said, you could put them in a container 
you know, keep them in olive oil. So you'd have like a tomato flavored olive oil and then you can chop these up and using them in salad dressings or whatever strikes your fancy. But it's a great thing to do. And if you have an abundance of tomatoes, it's a good way to keep them for when you don't have fresh tomatoes. So enjoy your fun dried tomatoes. <laughs>